There's a downpour in Washington, but that can't put the damper on an official reception. A helicopter brings the king and queen of Afghanistan to the White House grounds, where King Mohammed Zahir and Queen Homaira receive state greetings from President Kennedy. The crowd takes refuge under umbrellas, but not the official party. Mrs. Sergeant Shriver, the president's sister, acts as his official hostess as king and president ignore the elements. There was a steady downpour during the 15-minute ceremony, but, as the president said, there's a warm welcome in the hearts of all Americans. Neither snow, rain, nor sleet can stay the affairs of state. Majesties, it's a great pleasure for me on behalf of the people of the United States to welcome you to this country for the first time. You have borne uh, the responsibility of leadership in your country for many years, and it's a great source of satisfaction to all of us that you should journey uh, halfway around the world and visit uh, the United States. Even though uh, Afghanistan and the United States are separated by a good many thousands of miles, by history, by culture, by religion. I do think, uh, Your Majesty, that uh, we share one great overriding, overarching uh, conviction. And that is the strong desire of both of our peoples to maintain their independence, to live in freedom, and to uh, look to the future with hope. You have committed uh, your country, as it has been throughout its history, to the maintenance of that national independence and sovereignty. And it is a source of uh, pride to us that it has been possible for the United States, in some small ways, uh, to join you in that uh, great effort. So, Your Majesty, uh, though the rain may come down, I can assure you a very warm welcome in the hearts of all of my countrymen. از تجیرهی گرم و کلمات دوستانه ایفی نسبت به من کشور من اظهار فرمودن که من امتنان دارم من آردوی ملافت جرالت و و دیدن از این دموکراسی بزرگ و شناسایی با جنبه های مختلف زندگی کشور شما را در دل داشتم که مسافرت دوستانه جهاز ما هم در برای من هرچند شرایط جغرافیایی کشورهای ما را هزاران میل از هم دور ساخته لیکن عشق و آزادی و اخیره مشترک و کرامت انسانی این فاصله بزرگ را از بین برده و یک رابطه ناگوتستنی را بین ملتهای ما با وجود آورده است در این فرصت که برای اولین بار در این کشورت زیبای شما قدم میگذارم مسرد دارم که بهترین تمنیات خودم و مردم افغانستان را به جارت ما به شما و به ملت نجیب ایزادینی اصاب ما تمام دارم این مسافرت من موجب تشریر مزید آن علایق نیخی گلد که حکومت افغانستان 
و ملت افغانستان با ارزش بزرگ را قائل شدن یک بار دیگر از طبیرهی گرمی جارت ما تشکر میکنم تشکر Mr. President, I'm thankful to you for receiving us with such warmth and for your kind, friendly thoughts concerning my country, the Queen and myself. In visiting your country for the first time, I take pleasure in extending to you, Mr. President, and to your countrymen, my own best wishes together with those of the people of Afghanistan. Although, as you mentioned, Mr. President, our countries are geographically thousands of miles apart, certain common principles have formed a bond of friendship between our two nations. Our love of, our love of liberty and our belief in the inherent dignity of man have effectively bridged the wide gap created by oceans and continents. It's been for some time that I've been looking forward to visiting this great democracy and to meeting you and to becoming better acquainted with the various aspects of life in the United States. I entertain the hope that this visit will serve to strengthen the already friendly ties between our countries, which I assure you are highly regarded by our people and by the government of Afghanistan. <laughs>